here tonight, you don't want to overlook the Brexville Broadview Heights bees. But this is one of those football games, Robert, that you can work on those those problems that you had last week against Medina. Now for the Brexville Broadview Heights bees, their head coach is Jason Black. This is his second term as the head coach in Brexville. Uh, he was with them from 2009 to 2016. There's a good look at the two and one Grizzlies as they charge on to the field here at Brexville Broadview Heights Stadium that affectionately known here as the Beehive as we've been told by the folks here in the booth. A punt and it looks like uh, Lemp is back setting up near 38 yard line. It is Block. blocked by Blackburn. Picked up and Grizzlies going to score. I think that's Pasco with the ball. Number 45 recovers the block punt by Blackburn. Great Touchdowns, in. Grizzlies. Yeah, well, they brought the pressure on that play. They're going punt block. We'll take another look at it. The Grizzlies celebrate an early def uh, special teams touchdown. And we, we talked about it just a few minutes ago and how great this special teams unit is. Pressure comes in, and it's Blackburn with the block. And Probst just is escorted into the end zone there by number 12, Carson Bucks. How about that? Pasco checks in here. He's the holder. Tim Woody on the, from the extra point. Kick is up, and it is good. Grizzlies lead 7-0 early in the first quarter. off the figure eight who bounces it right. He's got a lot of running room. The defensive back just collapsed way down in. Something you don't do as a defensive back is you got you have to keep your outside shoulder free or, or in, everyone inside. And he definitely collapsed in and outside now, in a hurry. We've seen this growth in figure eight. He sees the field. He sees the outside is open and he turns it downfield and Larkin's on the stop. Stack with the keep round edge and he's going to get in quickly the Grizzlies are up 13 nothing with the extra point to come now that offensive line is just dominating right now and we'll take another look at Stack's touchdown run Dinwiddie on for the extra point Snap was good. The hold was great. Kick is up and through and good. Grizzlies lead 14 0. Hiscock was asked to leave the football game by the official. Might be an equipment issue. So coming on to replace him is number 81, Jackson Irksa. Irksa, 6'2, 155 pound sophomore.
Figure eight bounces it wide right. He's got the first down. He's going to score. No penalties. Grizzlies with the third score of the first quarter. Well, I got to tell you, I love the downfield blocking by these wide receivers. You're going to see Davis Nye on this touchdown run. He's locked up one-on-one -on -one with a B's defender, and he almost clears the path. You'll see it right there on the screen, and Figueroa just walks into the end zone. Outstanding job. job defensively. I mean, uh, outstanding job. That's team football. D downfield blocking. Yes, sir. Kick is up. Dimwitty is once again good with his extra point. Grizzlies lead 21 0 with three quarter. As you see the, the Wadsworth faithful, the student section there, I think it's Jersey night. It's Jersey night. Yep. You know, all the jerseys, number 11, I see 90. Look at the touchdown. So I am here tonight with Olivia Benner and Peggy Galata for cheerleader of the week and you're a senior. Yes. And can you tell me why you picked her for cheerleader of the week? So I chose Olivia this week. I've coached Olivia for many years. Um, so I've watched her grow. Um, she is my little organized uh, spirit liaison if you want to call her my spirit coordinator um, every week she gets the girls pumped she does the glitter on their face they she gets them ready for the theme um, and she's just really adamant about leading the team to success and having fun each each Friday night and I appreciate everything she does um, and I'm very proud of her her senior year let me ask you a couple questions. What does it mean to be a cheerleader, especially in your senior year? In my senior year, it's really just about being with my team every second that I can and making the most of it. What advice do you give to anybody that's thinking about being a cheerleader or is a little adamant about trying out? What, what advice do you give them? try out what's the worst that can happen is nothing honestly you're gonna make a great friendship you're gonna be able to like pep up your school it's an amazing experience well congratulations on being cheerleader of the week thank you this week's sponsor is the galaxy restaurant in Walter. there you go congratulations thank you thank you Look at the touchdowns here once again. Blackburn's punt block. Pasco with the touchdown. Special teams coming through again. They're stacked on the quarterback keeper off the right side. Great downfield blocking. And here's figure eight just bouncing it out right, right with great receiver blocking downfield. Okay, back to Stack looking, dropping back, throws over, wide open Davis Nye. Bounces it and finally he's taken out near the five yard line. Well, the Bees gambled on that play. They brought pressure from their linebacker position and in zone coverage, left the underneath wide open. And Davis Nye runs right underneath where the linebacker would have been. Come fine by Will Stack. Does a drag route. Which
Figueroa with the handoff, bounces it to the right and gets very close to the goal line. He's just going to come up shy. Yeah, you know, we had a shot there real quick of the EMS, so we just want to say, you know, 9-11 coming up, I believe, on Sunday. Sunday. Thank you to all the first responders uh, around the nation for all that you do. Good look at Figueroa. This is third and goal from inside the one. Figueroa usually gets it around this. But Davis Nye with the hand, jet sweep. He's going to go in untouched. Touchdown, Grizzlies. Got a flag on the play. Kick is up, and it is good. And Grizzlies lead 28-0 with just a little under seven minutes left in the half. You like to see it. Davis Nye in motion. Arnold at H-back. Stack rolls left. Wide open. Davis Nye across the field. He's got a lot of running room. He's going to go untouched. Touchdown, Grizzlies. And there's a penalty flag all the way back here at the 27-yard line. Yeah, that's going to oh, be gonna, roughing that, the passer. That's going to be on Brexville. And how about that downfield block by number two, Drew Jones? Jones. So much for slow and methodical. No, quick hitter <laughs> on that one, Coach. But we'll take it. Absolutely. We will be under... After the extra point under the running clock rules, I believe. It's it. Yeah, it would be in the second mm. half. Correction. Yep. You're right. Snap back. Pasco has it. Extra point is up and good. Grizzlies lead 35 0. 30. Receiver wide right, uh, Hiscock by himself. Figure eight bounces it left in That's touchdown. There's the a flag. penalty flag, and they're going to probably get a holding here. That's an area of holding. That's something we have to clean up. And, and you can't call holding on every single play. That's without question, but um, we've got to get better on this. Plenty of time, though. I mean, physically up front, you're you're bigger, you're stronger than than the Beezers. There's no reason to hold it. Figure is strong back now. That that moves us back to what are we at the 19 30. yard line? And so that is first, first and goal from the 19. Stack keeps it. Pasco. No, Pasco again. Still on his feet. Pasco down to the three-yard line. I'm hoping this is just a mixing a new quarterback back in and Stack is healthy. He did score 
earlier there. Boy, how about the effort by Pasco? He's just, he can smell that end zone. He can smell the goal line. Josh Pasco, the senior. Arnold in motion. Figure right up the middle, and he's going to get a push in, and it's going to be a touchdown, Grizzlies. That's that offensive line, giving him the push that he needed. Only needed two yards on the play, and we'll see the good push by the offensive line. Arnold in motion, seals the end, and Figure just gets behind the big bodies, and touchdown, Grizzlies. Actually, there was a hole to the left a little bit more. Looks like about the three, and he chose to go up behind all the bodies. Still gets it in. Tim Winnie's kick is up and is good. Grizzlies lead 42-0 with two minutes left. Hello, and I'm here tonight with Color Guard of the Week, and I'm here with Summer Witty. And why did you guys go ahead and pick her for Color Guard of the Week? Um, she always gives 110% to every single thing she does, and she has grown just tremendous, tremendously year after year, and she's a senior this year, so we've seen four years of growth. This one always has a smile on her face. She's always excited to be at guard, and she always, like, she gives 110% and pushes everyone else on the guard to be better. So let me ask you just a couple questions. What does it mean to you to be in color guard, especially your senior year? Uh, well, it is very nice. It's a very fun experience for anyone who wants to try it. It's really nice. It's fun. <laughs> and... It's just a sense of showmanship, I guess. Do you have any advice for those that are thinking about getting into Color Guard or unsure about getting into Color Guard? Uh, let's see. Just try it. Because <laughs> you don't know what the outcome is unless if you try it out because if you don't try it, you'll never get to experience it. You'll never get to figure out what it was to be in guard or winter guard. Well, thank you so much and congratulations. Uh, this week's sponsor is the Galaxy Restaurant in Wadsworth. Here you go. And congratulations on being a senior this year. Thank you, you guys. Thank you. Thank you.
Third down and 11 for the Grizzlies. Stack looking to throw. Caught. Madigan. On the back first. Has the first down. Lots of running room. He's going to go in and only one B to beat. And number four does a nice job catching up with him. Yeah, knocking Taylor, him out of bounds. Well, Taylor Williams takes a nice angle from across the football field as Madigan picks the ball up near the turf. We'll take a look at it. Pressure's coming. Stack gets rid of it. Madigan with a good catch, turns it upfield, and look how smooth it is for the freshman. And there's number four. Nice angle, just like they teach you. So Taylor Williams saves a touchdown for the time being for the Bees. Wait. Oh, they get. Oh, he did get in. They did give it to him, but they, they, you can see where uh, you can see the replay. He does stuff out at the five yard line. Yeah, well, can we take another look at it, John Bernard, down in the truck? We'll take another look at it. We, we thought he was out of bounds at the five yard line, but he stretches the football across the guy, the goal line, and he's on cruise control right now. Right. We'll see, he Next steps out of bounds, step. right? Oh, nope. no, there right is. Right there it is. Yep, at the two-yard line. It looks like he steps out at the two-yard line, right there. Yeah, yep. Great camera work. But the effort by the freshman Madigan. And the PAT after puts the Grizzlies up 49 to nothing. Zach Wise. Zach Wise is going to go in and score. Now that is Wise's first career varsity touchdown with under a minute remaining at the Bees Nest and 
the Grizzlies have taken literally the sting out of this bees defense. Everything going right tonight for the Grizzlies. And it's been a good week of preparation for Wadsworth. Refocused after disappointing loss to Medina last week. And now with a focus on now a Suburban League championship as they will walk away winners here tonight. Then with him on for the extra point, which he is good once again tonight. And that is the game, ladies and gentlemen. The Grizzlies in a dominating fashion leave tonight. 56 nothing winners over the Brexville Bees here. You see the uh, two teams line up and shake hands. Well, Robert, we knew that coming in tonight that, that Wadsworth was going to perform well. And I will have to tell you that uh, I think they exceeded my expectations. They actually they dominated in every facet of the game. We, we mentioned it, special teams, offense, defense. A couple of things they've got to clean up. Those penalties, um, those will continue. Coaches will work on that. But I'm really excited. Next week, big football game against the Hudson Explorers. Big Suburban League National Conference battle lining up. As a lot on the line. Absolutely. And Hudson has Twinsburg tonight. Yep. And that looks like a W for Hudson, Hudson the last time that we looked at that score. So big battle coming up next Friday night at Artwright. Artwright Stadium. It'll be an, I'm sure there's going to be another beautiful night. Come out and support your Grizzlies. Yeah, thank you. Hey, for uh, for John Bernard downstairs in the van who's been working all the dials and running the plays for us, and Robert Rickenbacker, my partner, from uh, the Beehive in Brexville Broadview Heights Stadium. Your Grizzlies win it 56 to nothing, and they shut out the bees. Have a good night, everybody. Good night. I'm here tonight with Football Player of the Week, and you are a quarterback, correct? Correct. Will Stack. And let me ask you, what does it mean to be a football player, especially playing this year? I mean, being a varsity football player, I think it just means you have uh, to put in a lot of hard work, really. And you just got to... 
be with your teammates a lot, and it's really a team sport. So it's like to be a football player is just to be a part of the football team. What advice do you have for anybody that's looking to get into football or is going to be coming to the high school? Any advice that you can give them? Uh, just keep working hard. I mean, you'll get to where you can achieve whatever you want if you just put in the hard work to get there. And I mean, it never stops. You just got to keep working hard. So let me ask you one more question. How do you keep up the morale when sometimes the game is getting hard? Yeah, you just got to trust in your teammates, really. I mean, you might make a mistake. You got to move on the next play, keep your head up high, and you got to know that your teammates got your back and they'll keep fighting for you no matter what. That is excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Tonight's sponsor is the Galaxy Restaurant. There you go. Congratulations you. and great game. Thank, Thank you. you. You are watching WCTV, Wadsworth Community Television.